what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel now coming up in this video i'm going to be showing you what you can expect when you go on a ship tour as a travel agent let's go Alright everyone, so my name is Jared Jamal Davis and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I put out videos on a weekly basis related to the travel industry. So if you love vacations the same way I do, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my new episodes. Now, <clears throat> again, like I said today, we're going to be talking about going on a ship tour and just take a little behind the scenes look at some of the things that you can expect. But I want you to know the first thing is when you're going to go on a ship tour, this is an exclusive offer. You have to get registered to go on a ship tour. You can't just drive up and expect to go on a tour of the ship. You have to get registered with your vendor. And what I want you to understand is, listen, when there are trade shows, when there are trainings and things of that nature that you can attend make sure you build those relationships with your business development managers because those are the people that can put you in the right spot to actually get registered for these ship tours. Now, once you get registered for the ship tour, you're going to receive an email because you're going to need a boarding pass. And now it's time to actually go to the ship. So when you make it to the ship, understand that this ship is going to set sail today. So you're actually going to be going through the same lines and the same security as the cruising passengers. This is why you're going to need your boarding pass. And this is also why you're going to need your ID. But once you make it through the security, you're going to go into a room where your tour guide will be there taking role to make sure everyone makes it on time. And you're also going to be able to see all of the travel agents who are going to be on the ship tour with you all today. Now, again, after this check in process has been complete, all of the agents have made it. It's time to get on the ship. But again, you will be going through the same lines as all of the cruising passengers. So make sure you wait for that signal from your ship tour guys so you guys can go ahead and start boarding that cruise ship. Now, our first stop on this ship tour is going to be at an inside cabin and it's going to be labeled site inspection because these rooms have been specifically picked out to allow travel agents to go ahead and go inside of the room look at all of the amenities you know you can take pictures you can do videos but again the goal is to go in experience and see what's going on see how everything is looking because when you go back home and you start marketing your deals and you start marketing these ships, you want to be more educated. You want to be able to help your clients understand what type of room they're going to get, what type of amenities they're going to have. So they'll know exactly what they want to book. And also remember, it is going to be a group of you all. So it does get a little tight, but it's OK. My pro tip is to either be the first one in or the last one in. So you can go in, get as much footage as you want, and you won't be running into all of the other people that are inside of the group. And also remember, going up and down these hallways, there are going to be passengers who are getting on, there are gonna be passengers who are getting off the ship, and there also are going to be the crews that are cleaning these rooms and getting them ready for the next set of guests that are coming in for the cruise. So just be mindful of this. Take your time. You have enough time to get all of the pictures, all of the content you need. And of course, you're just going to enjoy the ship tour. 
Now let's go ahead and head over to the next state room, which is going to be a balcony cabin. That way we can now see the amenities of the inside of the balcony cabin and see what's on the outside. All right, so now we have seen an inside cabin and now we've seen a balcony cabin. But now we're gonna step it up a little bit and I wanna take you over to see what a grand suite looks like. So come on, let's go over here and hop over right into the grand suite. I tell you what, the grand suite, oh my goodness, from the couch to the bed, the, the private table, my goodness, you, you have the, the area with the beauty mirror. <laughs> Are you talking about a his and a her sink in the bathroom? Wait a minute, a jacuzzi tub? My goodness, like I say, that's why I enjoy these ship tours because you get to see so much more than you didn't even know what was on this ship. But we are not finished. So the next room that we're going to go to is going to be a junior suite. So now you're about to see how you went from the grand suite to the junior suite, but let's go ahead and hop over there and check out the amenities inside of that room.
All right, so as you can see, yes, the junior suite might be a little bit smaller than that grand suite, but you still had a nice size couch. You still had a nice size bed. They even had a table area where you can put down all of your items, whether you're trying to work on your laptop, they had the mirror. Look, they also had the, the balcony. You can still go out there in the balcony with the double chairs. They also had the chase chair out there if you wanted to lay out. Oh my goodness, and look, I did not miss that jacuzzi tub, the jacuzzi tub with the shower. They still had the his and hers bathroom, so it doesn't matter whether you're going for the junior suite or a grand suite, you can still be able to show your clients that they can still experience the luxury life and not just the normal cruise life. You know, like I say, again, this is all about education, just finding out what these ships offer so you can then turn around and meet your client's needs. But what I wanna really do right here, I'm just gonna give you just a sneak peek, just a quick look at what it looks like inside of the captain suite. So let's go ahead and take a quick view of the Captain Suite living room. My goodness, I'm telling you, one of the things I love about that Captain Suite living room is just that panoramic view. I mean, did you see those windows? But I tell you what, now we're going to head through the spa area because I want to show you what the onboard gym looks like on a ship. For all of those clients who really want to, of course, take a vacation, but they may still want to go to the gym when they get up in the morning or maybe they they've had all of these meals all throughout the day and they just want to go walk it off or work it out look there are aerobics classes they are all kind of things but let's go ahead and head over there through the spa so we can go to that onboard gym area All right, so that was the onboard gym. And as you can clearly see, your clients will have enough time if they wanna get on side of that ship and they still wanna work out, they'll be able to have a full gym. They have aerobics, the whole nine. You'll be able to show them and also educate them on the things that you've seen here so they can continue to work out. But the fun doesn't stop there. From here, we actually want to visit Camp Ocean. And Camp Ocean is going to be an onboard camp that ranges from ages two to 11. So if your cruisers want to experience some of the onboard activities of the ship, but they wanna make sure that their kids are well supervised and also are able to have a great time while they're experiencing all of the onboard activities, you definitely want to tell them about Camp Ocean. So let's go ahead and go right over there to Camp Ocean so you can see what the facilities look like.
All right, so as you can see, Camp Ocean is a huge facility. They have enough games, computers, entertainment for all ages to keep those children busy. And that way the adults can go out there and relax and enjoy themselves as well. But speaking of enjoying themselves, at this time, let's go ahead and head over to the Serenity Deck so we can see where all of the adults like to just relax. Now that we've checked out the Serenity Deck, at this point inside of the ship tour, this is where we actually get to take a break and have lunch on the ship that's provided by the ship. So after we sat down, enjoyed some of that great cruise food, we hopped up and now we're going to head over to one of the dining halls, just so you can see what one of the dining halls looks like because over the course of the, the tour and the ship, you're going to see they have different buffet areas where your clients can go and get a meal at different times of the day. But right now, I actually want to show you what one of the formal dining halls looks like. So let's go ahead and hop right over there. Now that we've taken a look at one of the main dining halls, we're going to head over to one of the main club areas. And what I want you to understand about this club area and all of the club areas for the ships is they are 18 and older. Now it's 18 to party, but it's 21 to drink. And not only is this a club where they have 90s and 80s and all kind of new music, for everyone to listen to, but these rooms can also be rented out for cocktail parties and also for private parties. And Carnival also has an event department. So if you have a client who has an event that they want to host on this cruise, make sure they get with that event planner department and they can go ahead and book these areas for that event. Now from here, we went to a few of the other lounges on board, some of the other game rooms on board, but right now I want to show you what the main dining area looks like. And this is another dining area that's more formal. So this is where the captain's dinner will be. And this is where you can show your clients that they can also get a three course meal. Um, but like I said, with this one, it's more formal. They do most of these meals at nighttime, but if that's your client's thing, if they want to get a little more dressed up again, if they want to get away from the buffets and they just want to sit down and have a nice dinner or even a nice brunch, this will be the area that they can go ahead and have those meals. And last but not least, we headed over to the big auditorium. Now inside of that big auditorium, this is where all of your Broadway shows are. You have comedy shows, man. You can even catch a couple of games of bingo inside of this main auditorium. So definitely this is one of those things you want to talk to your clients about so they'll know what happens in here because sometimes these are big selling points. But listen, this was just a short version of what the ship tours can offer you as a travel agent. And listen, if you got value from today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I put out videos like this on a weekly basis. And other than that, you can click or tap the screen to watch another video. And I hope you take care, take charge, 
and I'll see you on the next video.